This is M87. It's a relatively nearby elliptical. Well, nearby to an astronomer, it's actually 60 million light years away. M87 is a bruiser. It is big. It has about a trillion stars in it, five times the number of stars in the Milky Way. Its nucleus, its core, is far brighter than usual for such galaxies. In fact, it's blasting out over a billion times the sun's energy. And it's not just glowing like some sort of super light bulb. It's more like a spotlight. The energy is in the form of a beam, a jet of matter moving out at a hair under the speed of light. Astronomers know of only one object in the universe that can power such titanic forces. A black hole. What's that you say? How can something known for sucking everything down around it, including light, be among the brightest objects in the universe? As matter falls into a black hole, it doesn't just take that final plunge and disappear. It swirls around the black hole like water swirling around a drain. And this infalling matter forms a disk called an accretion disk. As this material circles the black hole, there's a huge amount of friction, and the magnetic fields can be staggeringly powerful. Together, these forces heat the disk to an unbelievable amount, millions of degrees. Objects at this temperature can be incredibly bright and emit vast amounts of energy. Every big galaxy has such a monster black hole in its heart. And if that black hole has matter falling into it, if it's actively feeding, then it too may have an intensely bright accretion disk and those jets of energy beaming out, just like M87 does. Galaxies blasting out radiation on this scale are called active galaxies, and we think they're all powered by an extremely massive black hole in their cores. A feeding black hole like this can make life miserable for thousands of light years around it. Just look at this Chandra X-ray Observatory picture of the active galaxy 3C21. It has a jet that is slamming into a nearby galaxy, flooding it with deadly X-rays and gamma rays. Any life in that little galaxy would be scrambling for cover, if it isn't fried already. And what kind of galaxy is 3C21? You guessed it, another boring elliptical galaxy. So the next time you look at a Hubble image of a galaxy, remember, just because something looks peaceful doesn't mean there isn't, deep in its heart of hearts, a dragon just waiting to be woken up.